This is Cooking with Carmen. I'm here with Maggie today, and we're going to show you how to do Italian marinated olives. This is going to be great. If you can't find them anywhere, you got to make them yourself. That's the only way to go. Italian olive. They come in a five pound jar and they're the super colossal. These are the big ones folks but what we got them yeah. here they're sitting in brine. What we have to do is we got to soak them in some nice cool water so they can get rid of all the salt and we can go on making the olives we're gonna make. What we got to do is we got to chop a lot of stuff up. The things that we're gonna chop up is carrots and we're gonna chop up celery, Italian parsley, and we're gonna chop up garlic. We're now back to where we're gonna start putting everything that we've been doing, all this cutting and chopping. Now we're gonna start doing a mix. I'm gonna show you how to make these olives. So what I basically do is I got all of these jars out in front of me. They're all nice and clean, all ready to go. And what we got going here is just an assembly line is, is, is about all this. We're gonna take some of the celery and we're gonna dump some celery into each one of these. Just a handful or whatever. There's no set, no, you don't have to be per, I like per so many ounces, this and that, it's whatever yeah. makes you feel good. And then what you do, same thing with the carrots. All these carrots, Maggie Chop, we just go in there. It adds a sweetness to it, it adds a color to it. It does. It makes it look uh, like, wow, you know. So shake them all up, baby. Wow. Twist and shout, yeah. Now that would be the song. There's pretty colors. Let's see, let's get it in there. Then what I do, got all this mint stuff. I just put a little, little spoonful in, in each one. Uh, it's it's um, fresh, uh, mince, mince chopped uh, uh, Italian parsley. Mm -hmm. You can buy it at any store uh, that has it. There's no special place you need to go to get it. And just uh, put some of that. And then I do the same with the, with the garlic. I, I, you don't put too much. You're not looking for garlic olives. You're just looking for a, a, a little hint uh, added to what you're already doing. So that's, about, that's why I don't chop so much of it that you that you uh, got too much okay every time that you're going to use the olives you're going to eat olives you're going to empty a jar what's going to happen when you empty a jar you're going to have some some uh, liquid that you made this batch left over and i take what's left over and i come over here and i pour it into a measuring cup and i'll pour a little bit in each jar before i put all the olives in it so Let's just put that down. I don't need that just yet. All right, now we're going to take a mallet. I've mm. uh, been in the family a long time. I think you've seen it before. And we're going to take each olive. We've got to touch each olive. And you're going to just hit it and crunch it and throw it in the jar. <laughs> and when you, when you crunch them, uh -huh. see, sometimes you hit them, they don't hit it a second time. Uh -huh. yeah, really not a whole lot can be done right now because Maggie's cracking olives. I've cracked olives. I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> I've cracked olives. Well, this is the fun part. See? But not olives. God, is all of these nice olives. Look at that. And Egg. what I've done, like I said earlier, is I took I the, the jars that I already had eaten the olives and saved the mixture of the olive oil. And what I've got is this, and I pour a little bit of this to start with as a starter, like from the, from the old. And then we go to the new after that. So I'll pour just a little bit of this in here. Put some salt in it, each one, not a lot, just enough for just a little bit of flavor, not very much salt. But pepper, I like pepper, so I'll put a little extra pepper. But that's up to the individual uh, what he likes. So I'll put a little extra pepper. And then what I get is this uh, Italian seasoning. So I'll put some of that in there. Give a little, not too much. The stuff is really strong, so you oh, just, uh, you want to put just a little bit. Let's see, you can smell it. Okay. So then, now that that's in there, you take your, your red wine vinegar, mm -hmm. and you pour it in there. You want to fill some of that up. Okay. Not all the oh, way, because yeah. you got to save room for some oil. Oh, yeah? Some oil. Mm-hmm. 
So you've, what you got is a mixture of, of, of the old coming out of the other, then I got a whole bunch of nice red wine vinegar about right up to here, and then I take my light olive oil here, which top it off with the olive oil, see? Mm -hmm. Now it's time to put the, put the lids on. So you put the lids on and you roll it. You shake it and roll it, okay? See how everything's coming from the bottom going down towards the lid now and you roll it and, and it gets it all in there. It mixes up real good, okay? And what I do is I'll do that for about two, three days. You have to let them. Oh, you have to roll it? Yeah, it's not, it's not ready to go the first day you do it. Oh. Yeah, and every once in a while I go by and I'll grab one and I'll roll it. And how long do you leave it? Well, uh, jar, uh, right to me it's there. at least three to five days before you're going to open the jar Rolling. and start enjoying your Rolling. album. 